YouTube. This is Shannon from the Bishco channel. Coming to you today with uh, something that I made that has been answering a lot of questions that I've been getting recently. Um, whether it would be my cell phone or my action camera. Everybody's always asking me what happens when the power goes out or you're out in the woods or there's just nowhere to plug in when you want to get one of your survival manuals off your phone or whether you want to continue recording on your action camera. Well, this is my solution to that. This is a 12 volt emergency power supply and backup system. All right, I'll just kind of show it to you real quick and then I'll go over the list of materials that you need to build this. And I'll touch on how we would put it together. So some of the materials you're gonna need, you're gonna need batteries, whether that would be two six volt lantern batteries like I used in my kit or whether it be a 12 volt rechargeable from uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's that they would use in the emergency lighting kits or the exit signs. Uh, something like that would be more permanent, okay? Wire and a soldering gun. You would need a switch, some sort of DC 12 volt adapter, a box, obviously mine's not waterproof, but you could go waterproof if you'd like to, and hot glue or silicone. Now I'll go over that list again as I'm going so I can kind of touch on everything that we need. All right, first off, you want to start with your batteries. So we're going to go inside, we're going to look here. Now we have two 6 volt lantern batteries, and I wired the negative on this battery to the positive on this battery, basically making both batteries into one 12 volt system. So then what we're going to have to do is connect the positive and the negative from the two opposite terminals to our switch. Okay, now your switch might be different than my switch, so you're going to have to read the instructions on your switch to figure out where you need to put your terminals at. So, I haven't soldered in a long time, so don't give me too much slack about that, eh? But anyway, so then we're going to take our positive and our negative, and we're going to run a positive to the positive side of the switch. We're going to run our negative up through this hole into our 12-volt power supply. Now, this is one of the power supplies that you can pick up, you know, from Walmart or basically any uh, auto parts store or hardware store okay it's like a cigarette lighter plug so we're gonna run our negative to the negative on this power supply positive to the switch and run the positive of the other end of the switch to the positive on the power supply and that is it very simple setup put it in a box your switch on and off I would label those now this is a, a, a light based switch, but the light was broken in it, so uh, that's why I have the on and the off written on there. And then what you would do is you take your lighter plug, plug it in, turn your switch on, and you have auxiliary power for whatever device you need that you can use at USB. Now if you were powering something other than a cell phone or a, a, a flashlight or an action camera, I would say you're not going to get much time out of this device. Um, and you are going to need a way to recharge it. Now, me personally, I will be showing you a future video how I built this solar panel out of a bunch of solar lights that I had laying around the house. And that solar panel will put out three volts, which is what I need to charge this system in its current state. And uh, like I said, I'll show you that in a future video. But uh, you would need some sort of charging source, whether it would be a plug-in charging source or a solar power source but uh, eventually these batteries will drain down now right now I'm about 11 and a half volts because I have been using it um, but you know like I said I can charge that up in the future but some basic uh, principles there if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave them in the comments section but it's a pretty simple setup and it works really great I'll be using this uh, in the next few videos in a backpack rig that I've made for my action cam and I'll go over all of that in the future videos. So if you like what you saw today and uh, you thought this was a cool idea, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel for my upcoming future videos. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day.